G'day! Welcome to Gravesend Australia Diecast Salvage. Today we're playing with a Matchbox King Size and a Matchbox Speed Kings K23 Mercury. One of them is a police car and the other one is a, I think it was part of a set that had a a trailer in the car, but they didn't come with this one. In any case, if you want to see what I'll do with them, come and join me, with me over to the workbench. So I hope to see you there in a moment. Welcome back to the workbench. Thank you for those that have subscribed to the channel. Thank you for those that have been coming back and watching my feeble efforts to try and do something with these cars. I'm enjoying this. I hope you are too. But anyway, let's get on to our current project. This one here is the... i hold it the right way. Matchbox... Super Speed Kings, the K23. It is a Mercury commuter. Hoping that the camera will focus on that. Made in England. And this has like the super fast wheels on it. Now it does have a missing A pillar. Of course the windscreen is... Uh, Knackered. Looks like the local hoodlums have been around. It is. It does have the the top to it that used to be there, but that's not going back. Paint is in. Yeah, it's an okay condition. Suspension is there. Besides the, the front screen being smashed, the rest of the screens on the side, they, they're just dirty. No dogs in the back, because this is the, the king size version. The regular wheels, the smaller 164 scale matchbox, regular wheels and super fast have little doggies in the back. These ones don't. The rest of the screen's fine, so what we may do is cut this screen and make a new piece because we've got to make a new A pillar for it. This one here, the screen has a few scratches, but we might be able to polish them out. The rest of the screen is good it is missing its rubber boots so we need to make some rubber boots for this one it's missing the decal on this side and on here and the decal on the top here is well it's not the best as you can see it's out of they have their brothers and sisters behind this one here, I think was also part of a set that had a trailer and a racing car or something behind it. It does have its luggage track on the top. And it is in the colour of its little brothers of the regular wheels and super fast. But I'm not doing anything with this one. This one is staying as it is does have the later wheels on it the only thing i might do is just touch up the chrome on the on the rear wheel on this particular one because this is the speed kings version again another speed kings version but this one has its stickers intact so I'm just going to give this one a wash and a clean up. 
The glass is in quite good condition. These have three, three posts, two at the back, one at the front. So those two I will put aside because they're staying as they are. The other two here, again, not a Speed Kings because it has these types of wheels on them, like the, you know, the super fast wheels version. Um, cruddy sticker on the top there, and I have no idea what's happened here. So we'll be working on that one in the background. And this one here is the king size version which has the, well, you could call them a regular wheels version. Again, missing it, missing the rubber tyres. And the sticker there is well worn. The top one is very faded. And this one is just about gone. Interesting enough, that if you have a look at the decals, the fonts are slightly different on the highway patrols. So, tip. The one that we'll be mainly focusing on will be this one because we've got to do the A pillar, we've got to do the screen on them, and we need to make some rubber booties for the others. So we'll come back in a moment while I get my tools ready. There's a joke in there, Joyce. To take these vehicles apart. See you in a moment. And we're back. Isn't that... Didn't have to wait too long, did you? All right. As mentioned a moment ago, these have three posts. One in the front. Two in the back. Now I've used a burr tool on my Dremel to take the rivet heads off so that we can take these apart. And it's just a matter of just getting the screwdriver in underneath, the handy dandy screwdriver. We lift off the base. This is the regular wheeled version, and this is the steering mechanism which they had in it. So I'm not going to touch that. Don't need to. Because I'm not doing a wheel swap on this. So we'll clean up the base. Here we have our interior. So that will go into the poor man's wash machine. We may paint the top of the dash there black. And our screen is held in by a couple of posts. And if you'll see, I don't know if it'll show up. There we go. You'll see some cracks. There's my handy dandy screwdriver. Just at the end of my screwdriver here, there's a crack going that way. And there's one just about there going the opposite way. And these come in when they... These come in... These happen when they press those screens into the car at the factory. So I'll get my bird tool to take them out, take the head off the posts so we can get the screens out. And we'll do the same thing to get the horn off because this horn's not going back. These lights aren't going back, so I'll keep them as spares for another project. 
the same thing with the, with the later version free posts and come out the tow hook will come off this one because it's broken off anyway so I'll put them in into our parts section and our screen's break, breaking up so again we'll take the post out and get rid of so we can take the screens out and do something with them now with the with these the doors are held in with this piece here and I'm not taking that out because otherwise we will not get them back in again because again these are have a mushroomed head on them I'll try and get you back into photo they have a mushroom head so we'll leave well enough alone so that's about it to take them apart besides doing the the rivet head or the post head on the screens so i'll do that off camera and we'll see you shortly there we go we have our screens out and they all survived of course this one here was the one that the main part of the screen was broken so as you can see with the others you can see where the where the fractures were from right from the factory so what we're going to do next is we'll put them aside these screens I could be rough with them now that they will go in the poor man's wash machine I'll wash them off camera while I drop other stuff on my workbench here there we go they're back where they should be I now need to get on with a file and get rid of these humps because I don't want them because we need to fill in these holes so again that's something that I'm going to do off camera because all I'm using is some needle nose needle files and it might take a little while yeah you know, just all we're basically going to be doing is just flattening these off so that we with our roof that's all we're going to do is, is that the other thing I notice just having a look on these on these other models for a moment that the ones that carried a roof rack like the green one they were stamped a little bit harder There we go you can see it just there for the back part of the I'll get the carrier out that's not the carrier that's not the carrier there it is there's a luggage track for the luggage track square part just here is where that sat so I may put this one back on again but I still need to have these flat the police vehicles they're definitely going flat as well anyway I'll do that off camera and we'll catch you in a moment we shall get to these free later because the caustic soda will take the white off fairly easily 
I will move them to the background. Yellow is always a hard colour to get off. So I've added a little bit extra caustic soda. Oops, sorry about that. It's a good thing I didn't tip these into, into the boiling water. Anyway, our strippers are ready. So they're wanting no warm bath. So hopefully we're not going to have too much of a spillover. So I'm just going to add the water a little bit at a time. Must have been a little bit of red in that uh, yellow because the red's coming through. Uh, we haven't ha had it spill over, but that's the thing that you can that can happen with the caustic soda, especially if you put it in after the hot water. Well, that's it. We're just treating it carefully. So we shall let that sit and stew for a little while. You can see, you should be able to see some yellow flakes being swirled around. Of course, there are still some crystals. You can probably see that the car's turning red. So they must have had some red, red pigment in the, the yellow. Well, anyway, won't bore you any longer. I shall do that. Strip the other, other cars. And um, we'll see you in the next segment. Just a tiny little update before we... Put those in the caustic soda. This, this was the yellow car that we had in the caustic soda. It took most of the paint off. As you can see, yellow. I just did a bit of a scratch on what looks like orange now. So they've done a, a pigment of red in there. So I'm assuming they've mixed red and green to make the yellow not that i'm seeing any green in what's come out but there's definitely red in there well, anyway i'll keep stripping this and i'll strip the other cars and i'll bring you back in a moment all right so we've seen our strippers we've done a dry down of getting rid of some of the sticky stuff so now we need to get our cars shiny shiny now this is the one that has the broken a pillar this is the main one that we're focusing on but we want to get these others shiny as well now the reason why the paint on this one didn't completely come off because that one sat on the top of the pile of the cars when they were all in the in the tub and this one's got me thinking this one I'll see if I can do a well make it a patina car this is my thinking on this one so I'm going to do a little bit of research as to you know it's all a simple way of weathering so to speak to see if I can um, make this into a patina car, this one. But in the meantime, these two, we're going to use the brass bristle brush. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to knock you. And our st steel scourer. And all we're going to do is... Go like that for a little while as you can see she's coming shiny shiny and then we use our
our scourer to make it nice and shiny shiny so we're going to turn it from a that to that and I'll do that off camera um, and we'll catch you in a moment this is just a reminder as to what I started with at the beginning of this episode the matchbox K23 Mercury one of them is the king size and the other one is a speed kings and here we are now here is the result of our matchbox king size mercury commuter now i do owe you people an apology for you not seeing how i painted this technical difficulties at graves in australia diecast salvage that's all i can put it down to anyway what did we do with this one well before we go into that you should be seeing a photo about now which was the inspiration for this color scheme for this particular commuter now if you remember we had the broken a pillar which has been repaired we have fixed our screen on this one we have painted our tail lights and indicators we've tried to make a wood grain panel down the side as you saw in the photo we polished up the base on this particular one but we have some of his brothers if you remember that we also did something with and here is brother number one this is one of the older versions that has the steering in it we've done a wheel swap on it and here is brother number two we've done the same thing we've given them a wheel swap we've taken out the tow bar they are all rollers because just moving these around a little bit because we have one more to show and this one i'm actually more impressed with than this one even this next one that you're about to see <coughs> excuse me if you remember when um well you don't, didn't actually see it but after the first paint strip when we put the this one in the caustic soda we put the other three in the caustic soda afterwards as a stack but with this one not all the paint came off and i thought no i won't put it in the stripper again or put more caustic soda in reheat the hot water i'll leave it as a patina or rat look and all I did with this was to again do a wheel swap. This is one of the ones with the steering. We then put a coat of the rust effect paint over the top. And then we just wiped some of it off to bring up the white paint that was underneath. And we gave it a clear coat. It's the only vehicle that we've given it a clear coat over. All the others are a natural, nice and shiny, shiny. Anyway, this was a long build and I hope you enjoyed it. 
We'll catch you next time on Graves in Australia Diecast Salvage. Thank you for watching.